Hi, in this video we're going to walk through how to use the Balloon Live app. The Balloon Live app works on both Apple and Android devices, but for this demonstration I'm going to use my iPad. So the first thing you want to do is open up the app. And when you open it, it will be in training mode and it's going to be using the internal GPS. So the first thing we want to do is connect it to the Balloon Live sensor. For competitions that are using the Balloon Live sensors, what you want to do is firstly turn on the sensor and take note of the serial number that first appears. In this case it's 1006. And then back in the app, click on Menu, go to Configuration and then choose GPS Configuration. You'll then select BLS Device and in here you'll get a list of all of the devices it can find on Bluetooth. So you select the one with the appropriate serial number and then click on connect. That will then connect via Bluetooth to the sensor and you'll see that it is connected on the home screen by getting GPS data as well as the Bluetooth icon in the top right hand corner will change from red to white. We're now going to switch the app from training mode to competition mode. To do this we click on the menu and go to change mode and we select competition. You can either enter the token number that you will receive from the event or you can click on competition list and then log in using your watch me fly login details. When you do this, this will provide you with a list of all of the competitions that you've signed up to. So in this case we're going to choose the Canoundra event and once we do that, that will then log into the Canoundra event and automatically find your token. We will now walk through how to start a flight, declare some goals and drop some markers. To start a flight, click the red button in the top left corner and click the flight refresh button, which is the one that looks like the cloud. That will get the latest flight. Then click the red button and click start flight. This will start the tracking and start sending data to watch me fly. You want to do this about five minutes before you launch so that the fix of your launch site has already been captured and the GPS is tracking correctly. To declare a goal, you want to click on the declare button on the bottom right hand corner. When you do this, you'll be presented with a screen that allows you to select the goal number that you want to declare and you can enter the coordinates in the eastings and northings and an altitude if required. You then hit the big green declare button and your goal will be declared. If you want to enter a goal number from a goal list, enter the number by putting a zero in and then the goal number, so 145 for example, and leave the northing blank. You can then declare that as your goal. When you do this, you can also go back and check your goal declarations by clicking on the declaration list and you can see exactly what's been set. Now to drop a marker, it works the same way. Click on drop, then select the marker number you want and when you're ready to drop your marker, simply hit the big green drop button and your mark will be recorded. Now the final thing you need to remember is then to stop your flight at the end of your flight. So click the green button at the top and click on stop flight. That will make sure that the flight has ended. But the one thing you do want to do is just remember that you want to make sure that all the data has been sent. So in the top right hand corner you'll see the little cloud icon with a number next to it. You need to wait until that has been set back to zero before you turn the app off. For more information, go to the balloonlive.org website where there is some great FAQs and also a first start guide. Or if you have any questions or technical issues, please contact support at balloonlive.org. Thank you.